Hello, welcome back to another figure review of mine. Uh, this is a really old figure of mine, actually. But um, I thought, what, hell, I didn't review this one, so I thought, why uh, not? You know, uh, this is a pretty cool figure. Uh, it's an older figure. This is something you can see because the articulation isn't that great, actually. Uh, I like this figure because. Um, with the madness symbiotic piece and everything I think it looks pretty cool actually but I do have my little gripes with this figure the, he doesn't have ankle articulation as in an ankle pivot rotation at the ankle and um, I know Venom has a big hat but the original hats he came with are really big uh, I really do find them a little bit too big and this one, this one too and also this one's really big the Eddie Brock hat, but the scope on it is uh, pretty nice uh, if you don't mind that he has a big hat then I should uh, say it's a cool great figure um, this accessories he came with are, are, are these pieces, of course, those hats, and also this symbiotic madness piece. It's really cool that it's really cool that they have put this on there. Um, this these hands uh, came on the figure itself. I swapped the hands of the symbiotic madness piece with this one. It's that is the purpose of it. He also comes with two fists, which are pretty cool as well. But I've displayed them a long time with fists, so I thought, yeah, why not change up a little? And um, I swapped his normal head for one of the Symbiotic Madness Peace heads. The, this one, the right one, I swapped this one with this one and uh, this one for the normal one. He also comes with two little arms, which you can pack onto his arm. Um, yeah, let's see. Just like that. So he goes really crazy with the symbiotic madness thing going on. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna pack on this one as well. Let's make him a little bit crazy, okay? Let's do this. Then we're gonna pack on this crazy hat of venom here let's see yeah just like that and then we can pack this one up in here and then you have a really crazy venom man this looks really insane uh, it's pretty cool to display him like that uh, <laughs> this looks really amazing um yeah so he has pretty good sculpt on it. As you can see, it has a little bit of a blue wash or something going on. Um, I do like it. Um, <clears throat> as I can remember, he also had in the series a little bit of a blue coloring going on. And also, it shows off the sculpting a little bit better. You can see here. You can see the sculpting better, the muscle definitions, these calves are pretty big, man. Look at the calves, whoa. Um, his hamstrings are big, his quadriceps. I like muscle definitions. I'm, me, myself, I am a very, uh, I am a power lifter and also wrestler, so I like muscles, everything. Uh, I can uh, post some power lift uh, uh, trainings of mine. I'm gonna do that, but um, I do like figures a lot, man. I really do. It makes me happy. It really does make me happy. Figures. I ordered another figure, which is coming in today or tomorrow. A One Piece figure, variable action figure, very expensive figure from Norizoro, and uh, yeah, it's a very, very cool figure. Now, let's look at the articulation of this figure. Um, his head is stuck on mine, which isn't like that when you buy it. Only mine of mine figure is stuck. 
so but he does have uh, his arm can hinge out to there can rotate he has a bicep swivel single jointed elbow which goes 90 degrees rotation at the wrist no pivot he has a diaphragm joint which get a little bit loose on mine but that's because I have a big shelf here with all my figures and uh, without protection of glass or anything so this figure fell down a couple of times so that's the reason it's loose on mine he does have a uh, torso rotation I like this uh, design here you can kick forward till there not really much but enough backwards a little bit not so much he can uh, Hinge out till there, not so far. He has a upper thigh cut, single jointed knee, and his feet can move up and down. No pivot, no rotation, which uh, unfortunately isn't there. I really like that, you know. Uh, let's put on the fists. I think it's one of the best Venom figures out there today, but uh, the Revolt Tech uh, Venom. Which is coming soon is gonna be a little bit better, but I have a revolt tag figure here, and I, you know, I don't know if it is that good of a company. It's not really an action figure to play with. I don't know if you really want to have a playable Venom figure, then you need a nice stiff one. Then I would recommend the Marvel Legends Venom. That is more a Venom to play with. These Venoms are more for display, actually. So, he stands very tall. This is an 8-inch figure, I believe. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. I, uh, or 7, I don't know. Sure, let's see. Uh, I can compare him to a big down, let down, Captain America. No, I'm making a joke. I really do. I really do like this Captain America. This is the Cap Wolf. I think the reason I like this Captain America because he is big. As you can see, you can make it work with Marvel Select. It's a bigger Marvel Legends figure, and also he's a little bit bulky on the bulky side, which I like very much too. And that you have an interchangeable head for a wolf, werewolf, that is something I like as well. So that is my figure review on the Venom figure. I hope you liked it. Take care, guys.